Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a build on the dual mini sequencer by Division 6. Um, it's a Eurorack synth module and it pretty much does exactly what the name suggests. It's a dual sequencer, a uh, 16 step sequencer actually, and there's two of them. You can chain them together, so definitely an upgrade versus like a lot of the Baby 8 sequencers out there. And what really drew me to this module versus a Baby 8 sequencer is that it has these mini keyboards on it that are one volt per octave, so you can either play it live or plug in exactly what notes that you want sequenced. The price also isn't too bad when it comes to Eurorack kits. Um, the PCB panel and IC set comes in at around $40, which is what I got. The full kit is $100. And the fully assembled module, you're looking at about $220. So with that being said, for overall cost, I would rate this module an 8.5 out of 10 for me because I got the PCB panel set. And for a bigger build like this, the $40 range is where a lot of the PCB panel sets kind of fall into. As for building the module itself, this is a pretty big build, so it's definitely not for beginners. But if you're intermediate or advanced in soldering and electronics, I definitely recommend saving some money getting the kit or even the PCB panel set and sourcing all your own components. Personally, I have a ton of components lying around, so I just opted for that. Although this was a really big build, everything on the board was laid out really nicely, so it was pretty easy to put together, so I can definitely recommend doing this module DIY. With that being said, I would rate the build process itself a 9 out of 10. I do wish that the component values were screen printed on the PCB itself because I don't like having to refer back to the bill of materials every single time I want to solder a new component on, but that's just a minor inconvenience. Like I said before, everything was laid out super nicely, the instructions were super clear, um, everything just went really Really smooth overall. Moving on to user interface and overall usability of the module, I first want to start out by saying that I don't feel like this module is cramped at all. Uh, everything is laid out really nicely and even the sockets being below the keyboard, um, it's still totally playable and I don't see anything getting in the way. And I'm always kind of skeptical about tack switches because I don't really like them personally, but I think in this module they feel really good, respond really good, and I think they're definitely needed for such a small panel um, for every everything that you get packed into it. So even for playing the little keyboard, the tack switches actually feel really good, which isn't something that you usually catch me saying. Another thing that I think this module does really well is showing you exactly what's going on with a ton of LEDs. And this module pretty much just lays it all out on the table for you. There's no mystery, there's no guesswork. You can pretty much just see exactly what's happening. My particular module does have one small little oddity about it though, and it's not uh, documented anywhere in the user manual or anything like that. But every time that I turn on my modular system, I have to hold down the reset button on sequencer 2 until it reboots because for some reason it won't let me scroll through the octaves or give me accurate tracking on the second sequencer unless I reboot it. The first sequencer is totally fine, so I'm really not sure if it's just some sort of small glitch. Uh, it's a small inconvenience, but after I reboot it, it works totally fine, so I'm really not sure. I don't think that this is every module or a common issue because otherwise I feel like it probably would have been documented in the user manual or something. But let me know in the comments if you've experienced this with your module or if you have a friend that owns one. Uh, I might try reaching out to Division 6 about it, but I don't really care enough since it works totally fine after I just do a quick reboot. And since I don't really think that this is most modules, and I also don't really think it's a big deal for my module, I'm not going to let it affect the score for usability and user interface, but overall in this category I would rate this module a perfect 10 out of 10. It's packed with features, it doesn't feel too cramped, it's laid out really nicely, it shows you all sorts of information all just right there on the panel, and everything just makes sense. And before I show you a small clip of this module in action, I want you to hit that bell icon to turn on notifications for my next video, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and comment on the video below, and let me know if you want me to do a full feature demo of this thing, because I don't really think that there's too many videos about this on YouTube. In Division 6, if you're watching this, definitely hit me up, I want to make some more of your modules. But anyway, enjoy seeing this first little simple sequence that I made with the module, and I will see you guys in my next video.